Simonder of Simonder's Host has arrived to pillage. Well, he picked a poor spot. You will not have a host for much longer, Simonder. Not gonna pay for militia quarters. You guys can pay for that yourselves. Oh, levy size, that's nice. I'll let them pay for it themselves. Unless they need fortifications. I will pay for fortifications. Everything else I'm just gonna leave up to my barons. Education and fortification. I will supply to you. Free of charge. And healthcare. <laughs> we will have government provided healthcare for you. Alright, so my daughter has become a brilliant strategist. She's gained the brawny trait. Let's arrange a marriage to for her. With someone who will potentially give her lots of children. Uh, claim to Messina. Yeah, I mean, why not? He's 20. Alright. So she's married a Greek dude. Can I demand his conversion? Yes, cool. There you go. You follow the Pope now. Take off that stupid hat. Alright, I can see that he must learn on his own. Finally, we got a claim on Bedford. Can't I just keep the prosperity? I just want to keep the prosperity thing active forever. All right, so I'm gonna make a bookmark save here, and we are gonna declare war on Mercia for our rightful claim on Bedford. It's totally not fabricated. And we're going to fabricate a claim on Worcester while we're waiting for, or while we're at it. Perfect. Willful, ambitious, proud. Yeah, you can be ambitious. That's okay. It's okay with me. Special minor titles. Education focus. Timid, affectionate, and willful. Yeah, I'll make her a scholar. Oh, my spy master was murdered. Uh, okay, I'll make my wife my spy master. She's probably the one who did it anyway, because she wanted to be spy master. So my levies now number over 100,000 total. Or over 10,000 total. Another learned Jewish man has shown up. Awesome. Good for us. We do appreciate learned men in our court. Rowdy, willful, guess what? You get to be a soldier. Barracks. Let's upgrade the barracks. Oh, hey, our soldiers from uh, Cornwall have just been sitting around here, it looks like. All right, build a militia training ground. And we lost the Siege of Oxford, apparently. I don't know how we can lose a siege when we have 11,000 troops and they only have 3,000 and their siege finishes before ours does. Yeah, we'll just assault the castle. Victory! 
Let's do what we did last time. Let's just go ahead and siege all of their provinces that have any prosperity whatsoever. And, uh, yeah, I don't think those guys can even take the fort, can they? And we'll have to go deal with the Vikings real quick. Yeah, let's teach her to be brave. Excellent. Militia training grounds. Let's upgrade them. We actually don't have enough money. Okay. Fair enough. All right, so it looks like Warwick has some prosperity that we need to wipe out. Well, first we need to wipe out their armies, obviously. Warwick, I'm sorry, not Warwick. That's like the number one comment I get on these videos is you're pronouncing names of British towns incorrectly. Oh, what kind of freaking outbreak do we have now? Measles! Delightful. And my mother has died. Oh, the wife of Johan. I remember Johan. Johan the sad German. Uh, misguided warrior. Okay. He's slothful but ambitious. So, he has... He has lots of ambition, but he doesn't really ever do anything with it. it sounds kind of like me during high school. Alright. Loot and pillage. Cool. Well, we got other things to deal with right now, but we'll be right with you. Uh, we have more raiders. We're, we're kind of we're in the middle of ravaging the countryside right now, so... Uh, we lost the Siege of Shrewsbury? Oh, it's the forts. That's why we keep getting pop-ups that uh, we lost sieges, because they're, they're taking forts, which are very small. Alright, chased off the Vikings. Chased off those guys. Chasing off these guys. Man has distinguished himself in battle. Alright, we wiped out the prosperity in Warwick. I guess we'll march into Derby. <laughs> there, there is a significant outbreak of measles there. I just hope Bryant doesn't die of measles. Yeah, they can go ahead and Go ahead and uh, take Turnalug if they want. Increase council power in Breton. All right, we're going to send gifts. We're going to hand out honorary titles. All kinds of platitudes. People love platitude. Don't have enough money to send her a gift. Gonna put us into the red on gold. Might as well use it. I mean, it's gonna take us 90 years to get another one. I wish we could add that as a war goal now that we have that claim. Alright. Arrived in Devon, no shortage reinforcements. Awesome. She has to learn on her own. It's probably the last mercy in art. I don't know why we should be hostile to them. I don't know why we're not fighting. There's no siege happening. I'm very confused. new dude in Essex who's doing stuff. Oh wow. They have some seriously bad disease going on here. We got the, the 
body cart animation happening. I don't understand why we're not ha hostile to this army. Oh, he... <laughs> he hired the Teutonic Knights, but they won't fight us because we're Christians. <laughs> what a dingus. Okay, that, that explains it. Good job, man. Slow clap. Slow clap for that one. Enforce demands. Bedford is ours. We're gonna stand down our troops. We're gonna hand out some land. Not already a ruler. We need good stewardship stat. This guy's 37, he's bright. Um, he's not ambitious. He's a little old, but we'll give it to him. Grant County Bedford. He is a, he is a Breton, right? Okay, good. All right, I need a new ambition. I don't really care about building a war chest. I need all my counselors to be doing something. Can we form England now? We can form the Kingdom of England. E excellent. So what I'm going to need to decide next time is do I want to go ahead and do this? Um, because basically I would only be forming England in order to gain claims to take all of this shit and then after that I would just basically destroy it because I want everything to drift into the kingdom of Breton eventually I don't want to hold two kingdom titles so that will be a decision for next time that is going to be it for this segment as we get into the year 954 we're still slowly taking bites out of the the south and the midlands the Aztecs are blobbing like crazy at this point. They've taken all of France and a good bit of, of uh, Germany as well, it looks like. Um, they're not currently at war with anyone. Uh, and the Mongols have conquered the Byzantine Empire. So I think they're currently losing their, their war against... Okay, so I think they lost their war against the Khazars. And they're now fighting the Caliphate again, but again they have a they have a coalition against them that comprises like the whole world, more or less. So that is that is what is going on. Which caliphate are they fighting? Is it yeah, they're still fighting the Sunni or the Shia Caliphate, actually. Um, culture wise, they haven't really made an impact. Aztecs are sort of making a cultural impact. A little bit. We got some Dutchmen up in this area here now. Um, religion. Aztec religion is still spreading very slowly. The Mongols are not really making much of any effort to convert to them people to Tengri. And Scandinavia, though it has some Catholic provinces, has remained largely pagan, it looks like. Although there aren't many Slavic pagans yet, the the Romula and Suomensko Suomensko pagans are still around. Uh, yeah, so that is the state of the world. Be sure to subscribe if you want to follow along with more of the exploits of the Arthurian dynasty. Loresworn.com is our website, which is actually about to go through a pretty big revamp. Not to not too long from now and i am at asa tj on twitter that's a s a t j and you can also follow at lore sworn order to find out when new episodes go up and if scandinavia ever heals from its border gore disease um yeah until next time